Valeu. I'm making a claim on the title. I'm making a claim on the statement that the man said that uh, of WBC has stated that you know that they would make Ali fight me or fight the winner of the Norton Young fight. And in essence, Ali made the fight because he stated that he couldn't fight both; that he would fight you know, the winner of the Norton Young fight. It means I was a, you know, the victor of the fight; he should fight me. W, the WBC has stated that um, if Ali did not fight me, they would you know, remove the title. And that I would become the champ WBC champion, and uh, Ali was given the X amount of days to fight me after the Young Norton fight. And uh, I feel that the WBC is a very honorable organization, and they should honor their commitment. And I feel that Ali is an honorable man, and he should also honor his commitment. Well, I'm more or less try to make him move a lot to tire himself out because uh, I know he was very fast in those hands, but a foot he wasn't that, that agile anymore. If I could keep him moving, he'd eventually get tired and slow down and stop. Okay. That's what I was trying to make him do. In the 11th round, you looked pretty tired. Were you tired? Yeah, I was getting tired in the 11th round, yes. Were you hurt at the end of the 11th round? No, I wasn't hurt. I, I got caught a good jolting blow, but I wasn't hurt, no. Did they tell you between the 11th and the 12th you had to win the final round? No, my trainer, Eddie Fudd, said you go out and box this round and fight good and you won the fight. He no, didn't not... say to go for the knockout. No, he didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't my objective to go for the knockout. It was my objective to win, regardless of how I won. <laughs> Don't it's red, I'm gonna see. Uh, my main asset. Well, I would have to say that. Um, wow, that's, that's a good question. Um, I feel that um, my main asset is gonna be given by Ali because of the fact that, he, as I stated before, that he's going to stand there more now. He says he's not gonna move as much, and I feel he's gonna try to Come overpower to you. me. Come to be you. Be quiet, man. You get a chance. Just cool it. I'm gonna walk into you. <laughs> I feel that he's going to... Show me what you got. My boy, napkin, please. <laughs> no, I feel he's going to start overpowering me this time. He's going to walk to me more. So therefore, his head is going to be my main asset. <laughs> you know, this was really a surprise to me. The most active champion since Joe Lewis. Fighting about this being... I hope there are five fights this year after I stopped Norton. So I just can't understand how they're going to... Why are they pushing me to fight? As regular as I'm fighting, as active I am, I can't understand somebody giving me 90 days to fight like I'm ducking. The, I mean, that's the, I'm the last man to threaten to... You know, what, what the, I mean, all of that. I mean, it seems... I don't understand. I mean, they have made me great enough now crucifying me. They're still trying to make me a martyr. I, well, I'm, I'm not going to fight in 90 days just for them saying that. I'm going to fight 91 days. Up. <laughs> now, you tell them, you tell them that I am boxing. The bogus signing of the contracts for obvious publicity value took place on the Yankee Stadium turf. Muhammad Ali is guaranteed $6 million for putting his world to Norton, who will earn about a million. But that's ready. My hands are hurting. First two fights. My hands are not hurting now. I tell you what, was the Muhammad Ali that fought Joe Frazier, whoop Ken Norton? That Muhammad Ali. I don't want to talk about it. Well, the Muhammad else. Ali I want to fought, talk about oh, you Norton. Think I'm he gives you trouble. He gave me trouble. My hands were sore when I would when he we didn't know him and my jaw was broke and we underestimated him. But not now. Now I'm coming in 210. My hands are well. I don't I destroy him like I did Joe Frazier. I destroy George Fullman and I will destroy Norton. <laughs> To me, it's, it's more he's trying to psych himself up, right, more or less, because, you know, if it's obvious, I give the man trouble. We fought twice. It's also very obvious that he thinks now that he can, you know, he, he can outpower me, outpunch me, whatever, which means he's going to stand there and fight me. And if he's standing there and fights me, he's going to get hit, because he got hit moving before. So if he's standing there and fights, he's going to get hit twice as much and twice as hard.